All right, Revenants, uh, welcome back. So there's a particular enemy in the game that I absolutely despise. Um, and I thought, uh, why not become him uh, in a different sort of a way? So here we have uh, kind of a, a shared build between, um, between two blood codes, uh, Hunter, which is kind of the poor man's Artemis. So if you have uh, access to Hunter, which is very early on in the game, you can uh, pick this up. Uh, but if you if you have Artemis, which is basically right after uh, um, Hunter is discovered, uh, you can pick up Artemis, and it has uh, a one better basically in all the important stats: Dex, Willpower, and Fortitude, and everything is uh, one level above or two levels above, um, as uh, that is where we draw most of our power from uh, for our uh, bayonet. And the thing is here is that we want to do a shotgun bayonet, so we have two options here. We have the uh, Thunderbolt from the DLC, we have the Riot Breaker from the regular game, and the Dried Up Trenches is where you find this uh, weapon, and the Venus Claw. So if you don't have um, the pre-order, uh, then your next option will be the uh, Ivory Grace. Um, and if you have the DLC, you can go for the Master Spines. Uh, any of these three are ideal. However, um, I would definitely go for the uh, Venus Claw as it is um, uh, slashing uh, lightning. Well, we're going to go for slash lightning uh, because on backstabs you're going to be doing slash damage. Um, and we already have Pierce in our weapons. Uh, so we, we want to kind of diversify our damage output. Um, and then we have uh, Crush in Rose Flame, and this is kind of just to distract the enemy and just put some uh, extra um, damage on the field. And we are paired up here with Louis, and we are going to make sure that we get all of our damage going with these three. Then these two will be most of our i recovery. And uh, then Time Crunch will speed up our shots, and i Efficiency will allow us to uh, use our charge shots at only one i per shot. Um, and the Thunderbolt will simply be just along for the ride uh, in the event that you want to try it uh, along with that bayonet as well. So in the dried up trenches here, yes, uh, in the dried up trenches here is where we uh, find this weapon. So I thought, uh, and we also find uh, the uh, very, very annoying enemy that uh, this um, weapon comes from. And so we will uh, just go ahead and use some of this here, and we'll uh, uh, go for a backstab on this guy first, and we'll see um, just kind of how that does. So 11,000, and uh, about 3,300 3, there on uh, some, some damage from him. So we'll go uh, all the way up here on our damage and our uh, uh, charge accelerator there, and we'll go for a sound suppressor so we're kind of quiet sneaking up here. And we run up and shoot that thing. And we shoot him. Oh, okay. And this guy. Oh, okay, so Louie's gonna hit him down. Okay, that's fine with me. So now we'll come up to this guy and we'll slash this thing down. So you see we get about three i core on a uh, slash there. Now this guy we can't hit from, from here. Uh, so we will go for our um, Rose Flame. And that will encourage him to uh, <laughs> get, get some damage there and then we'll shoot him in the face now here is this fella and we'll slash him down and uh, that is the fella that I absolutely hate the most um, as he is uh, absolutely uh, devastating to to our health in uh, in a lot a lot of ways um, so we just go ahead and take care of him and then we have this fella oh, and there we go he shot me in the face so why not shoot him in the face? There we go. <laughs> or in the back at least. Uh, you should never shoot someone in the back. But uh, <laughs> unless your life is in danger. But uh, that is a great way to kind of get revenge on him. Okay. We'll uh, let him do that. Now we only get about 5 i on a backstab. Um, but we do uh, monstrous, monstrous, monstrous amounts of, uh, of uh, backstab damage. Uh, versus the first 4 levels of the game here. And over this way is where we find uh, this illustrious weapon. Uh, so we will go for um, i uh, recovery here. And uh, we'll go for a couple of slashes here. We'll see how we do as we slash him down. And we'll go for a backstab. And then we'll shoot him in the back here with just a regular shot. Okay. And we'll go for uh, a couple more um, damage uh, items here. And we'll go for... Whoop. Oh boy. And Louie, you gonna get me? Thanks. Okay. 
Now Louis's dead, but uh, so that is kind of the uh, problem: is that our uh, partner is uh, susceptible to uh, death <laughs> um, because we don't have a, uh, a revive uh, gift. But in fact, here in this chest is where you find the right breaker, and uh, it's a shotgun uh, that has a very very short range. Um, but it has a uh, great damage potential, especially when you're paired with Louis, because he gives you another stack of overdrive, so you are able to uh, make really, really good use of the weapon. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, sneak on in here. And since we have uh, backstabs available to us uh, from our blood veil, where did this guy go? I don't know where he went. Oh, here he is. He's over here in the corner. I don't know what he's doing there, but that's okay. Okay, so we'll do that, and then we'll shoot him down. Now, uh, this this guy is uh, strong to uh, pierce, um, as he has uh, an extreme weakness to um, crush. But uh, we could have used our um, our uh, what are those the the rose flame? But uh, instead, we uh, just go for um, a, a, a nice backstab there and put him down. Okay, so uh, if we adventure a little bit more here, uh, you'll see um, we can go for some of this and this all right and we'll go for some icor efficiency okay and this these guys are usually really uh, rough but you can see our uh, icor recovery there is uh, actually really really good and we can throw some rose flame down on these guys and uh, make them uh, explode okay we'll throw some more out there now uh, these guys as they run into the uh, rose flames um, they actually uh, get damaged uh, quite a bit. Oops. Okay. We gotta go for big red here. We gotta get out of out of this area. Oh, we heard the shotgun, so we gotta back up. Where's the shotgun? I don't know where the shotgun is. Uh, here comes the big red. Okay. So we'll go for this and uh, charge accelerator. And this guy's gonna spin to win. Oops. And we lost uh, the double overdrive. Okay. Oh, okay. And uh, we'll shoot him and go for a backstab if we can. There we go. Now we get uh, five I core from a backstab, and we get about uh, two or three or so I core from a uh, just a regular slash, like this. There we go. And so we can recover I core pretty quickly um, if we're just slashing down the enemy here. And uh, I guess Louis must have killed the uh, shotgunner. Um, somewhere along the line here, but uh, that's okay. And we can go for this and this. And uh, as these uh, cost two I core, but you can see there um, it doesn't uh, matter because uh, we shoot once and then we attack and then we get our I core back basically. And this fella is. Uh, oh, oh boy. Louis, thank you. So you see that, uh, I mean, we do have uh, some problems here with uh, defenses as that is. Uh, not what this is about. Whoops. <laughs> oh man. And in these uh, tight little areas here, um, you uh, definitely get against the enemy in a pretty bad way. Um, but uh, this has a um, a lot of damage that can come out of it. Um, it's not uh, you know an invincibility m mode kind of god mode that you can just uh, waltz through the game. Uh, but on normal mode, um, I would imagine that this would be uh, very good, uh, to say the least. Okay, and we'll uh, get all the things going here. Now if we go for the uh, Devour version uh, of this guy, we'll get a little bit of a uh, little bit more i back on our backstab. As this will uh, almost uh, double our, our, our uh, ability here. And as you see, we do, we do plenty of damage anyways. Okay, this guy will throw some uh, Rose Flame on him as uh, he needs to die. He's trying to shoot us, but as soon as, uh, as, soon as he... Uh, Okay, there we go. We'll just uh, do a plunge on him. There we go. Okay, and this guy, we'll go ahead and shoot him. There we go. And we'll go for another backstab. And uh, you'll see that we can we can still have really, really good amounts of uh, backstab potential, but we also have the ability to uh, get a lot of i core back. And uh, we also can um, uh, have more uh, shots available simply because we're going for uh, more back, uh, more damage, or sorry, we'll, we'll have more i core so we can um, go for uh, more uh, more shots. That's what I want to say. Good grief, <laughs> words are hard. 
Okay, so we get about seven or eight on a backstab there. Okay, so let's go for a charge accelerator and a drain activator. Okay, and let's get our haze. I don't know where this guy is. Okay, and let's just go ahead and shoot this guy. And so two shots and a couple of slashes there took him down, which is really, really nice. We can head on over here. Now we don't really have any, any kind of range um, on our uh, damage, but uh, that's okay as uh, we can kind of sit here and do this for adventuring. And uh, there's 14,000 uh, damage just like that. Uh, f that. Now that was for eight I-Core, but now it'll be so much cheaper. And these guys with their shields, it doesn't even matter uh, as the uh, Riot Breaker can pierce through and uh, uh, damage these guys regardless. Oh boy. This is not looking good. Okay, now he will uh, go down off the edge, and uh, we will get our uh, I-Core back. And now this is the ambush, so we will uh, go ahead and uh, use Rose Flame here for sure. Okay. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. Okay, and let's put a Rose Flame out there. And let's go back through the uh, Rose Petals, so they uh, have to run through them. Okay. We'll do uh, more Rose Flame. Okay, so it's kind of a uh, sneaky, tricky, kind of a uh, dodge in, dodge out. Uh, but then when you are close to the enemy, uh, you you have to uh, be able to uh, use your uh, gun to be able to shoot him in the face. So uh, if this is uh, you know something that you've uh, enjoyed in the game, uh, is using the Riot Breaker, uh, this can kind of take it to that next level maybe for you and uh, it can uh, help help maybe somebody out uh, to figure out how to use the riot breaker except for this guy over here uh, always shoots me and uh, he's really annoying as he's got really good accuracy um, <laughs> so uh, we'll just head on around him and uh, as you are here in the uh, dried up trenches um, as this is the place where the shotgunners uh, you first encounter them and then they give you a shotgun and then uh, they uh, expect you to kind of use it and uh, figure out what you're doing with it. And uh, this can be a great way to uh, kind of play around with it and see, um, you know, what what it's all about and uh, how you would go about it. Um, and it, as it is a uh, piercing weapon and it is a uh, crowd control weapon, so if you have multiple enemies around, um, you can uh, do a lot of damage to all the enemies if they're stacked up into uh, one little area. Oh, he's, he's off the edge, so that's very good. Oh, we can pick this up, I guess. And uh, we'll go for more damage, and more damage. And uh, the only uh, gift we're missing here is adrenaline, as, as that would uh, give us um, a little bit more damage. Okay. And you see that uh, we use one I-Core, and then we do a slash, and because we have um, 0.77, and if we do this, uh, we go up to 1.16, um, which gives us the ability to uh, get about two I-Core back on a slash. So we use one and we get two back, um, so it's not a bad deal at all. Okay, and uh, we'll backstab this guy, and then we'll go shoot the other guy in the face, and we'll kind of complete the circuit here. And you see that we're at 11,000 on a backstab, so we have, um, for these guys, we have more than enough uh, damage to, uh, see, he, he didn't like it being shot in the face. But then I got shot in the face. <laughs> oh man, this game sometimes can be so unforgiving. Um, it's just kind of crazy that you make one little misstep and uh, down you go. Okay. And uh, we can get some i back here from uh, this thing by slashing it. Okay. And if you, and if again, if I was actually good at the game, uh, you know, I could actually show you guys uh, how this goes. Okay. Okay. And let's shoot this guy. There we go. Whoa, we fell off, okay. Um, oh, this guy's here. So we'll backstab him. All right. And we can go ahead and shoot this guy. Now we don't have any, oh, this guy's here. Is he dead? What's going on? Okay, uh, something's, uh, Louis, oh, okay. Um, we'll go for these two. Uh, I guess we have to make the circuit around. Um, well, thanks, Louis. So uh, it's it's a fun way to uh, oh uh, this guy again okay and we'll backstab him now as you see uh, most of the backstabs are just uh, pretty good 
uh, for this area of the game, um, simply because of just the weakness of the enemy and everything. Um, but uh, as we do uh, have, have we actually do have the uh, power here uh, for this, um, it definitely makes uh, this area easier, while at the same time, oh, come on, you jerk. Okay, and we'll backstab this guy for sure, because he's, uh, you know, definitely going to make it uh, problematic for us. Oh, come on. No, I'm not okay. This thing, okay. And, whoop. And we'll go ahead and shoot these guys. There we go. Okay, so now you see that uh, um, we, we've we kind of made the full circuit, and we got one more guy here uh, to go for, and uh, he is uh, very, very big and very, very cumbersome. Okay, and we'll give him a backstab and get some uh, damage out here, and then we'll go ahead and uh, shoot him down. There we go. And uh, you can see there that uh, it definitely has, um, you know, basically just a uh, skill cap built into it and uh, there's really no um, there's really no limit as to how good you can be because it's all about uh, how you dodge in and don't take the hits and everything but uh, it's definitely got uh, all the right tools in all the right places and as, as long as you don't get hit you get the 25% from uh, overdrive or at least the stack of overdrive for your shooting and then you get uh, Louis stack of overdrive as well and then you pair all these up and then Rose Flame can give you some distraction tool uh, for some uh, damage out on the guys as uh, things happen in the field. So I hope you all enjoyed that and thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.